Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Come on! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouthed Funko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. McFarland's, John. They're holding on, but that ranch is in trouble. But we dealt with the rustler problem. For now, yes. But that ain't enough. They got greater forces working against them. Drew's a rancher, not a businessman. Railroads, motor cars, telephones. Opening a world of new opportunities, apparently. Try telling that to a farmer with no head for business. Or a blacksmith whose customers can buy tools for half the price out of a Spalding's catalog. Giving a man too many options will make him unhappy. Taking too many away will force him to do things he shouldn't. It's wrong to assume change is always good. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. This don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Let's go! What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. 
Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! This don't look so good. All right, let's go check it out. dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Did you want to run a gang of outlaws? Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? All right, boys, let's have a look around. Nobody's in the shed. Shoot that door open. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches.
Ain't you a pretty little thing? I'm gonna enjoy this! I'm gonna fill you- There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Shank? Can I borrow this, friend? Sorry about this, partner. Curl you up like a newborn calf here! Can I have this? Gonna have ourselves fun. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Oh, thank God.
Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Of that bunch gets fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. Out up, boys. We gotta get after those bandits. Hurry, boys. Let's get after them. Come on. Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your lead to Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that Come involve on. you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we can... Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed!
boy's lost, I'm afraid. Hey, look what I got here. There's something that you're still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. We got the finest selection in the How are you, mister? We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? The marshal ain't no man in my eyes.
I need it more than you now. Let's go! 